वेलकम बैक आप देख रहे हैं इन साइड टूनाइट विदेश के हम जुड़ने की कोशिश करें टेक्नोलॉजी से आज के कार्यक्रम में बट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट यू विद the upcoming shows a little bit so tomorrow we are going to be having a very special guest in our studio and she is a wonderful orator as well as a uh, uh, hcher uh, she uh, guides you how you can express yourself in the best possible manner in what way you should make use of your body while you are saying something to make it more effective so that is happening tomorrow so don't miss this show and keep your questions ready if you have any for her and then on 14th march we are going to be having a lot of laughter filled program here and 17th march would be holi so that day we celebrate holi ke rang holi ki dhamal here with songs and humorous uh, anecdotes from various peoples along with gulal to aap apne gulal ke sath taiyar rahe hain 17 march ko and then in uh, the last week of march 26th march wednesday we'll have uh, the presence of consul general uh, dyaneshwar mulle ji right here at uh, our studio uh, to talk to you so do join uh, in that conversation and it is the conversation that keeps us going so continuing with the conversation technology हमारा जीवन बदल रही है पर हमें भी टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग इस तरह करना चाहिए कि वो उस दिशा में बदले जिस दिशा में हम उसे बदलना चाहते हैं एंड वंस अगेन कनेक्टिंग यू विद विद द गेस्ट हियर तेजू प्रसाद हु हैज ऑफर्ड वंडरफुल एप्स एंड आल्सो ऑन फोन वी हैव अनिकेत व्यास हु इज टेलिंग इज ऑल अबाउट थ्री प्रिंटर्स सो अनिकेत वेन यू लुक एट दिस टेक्नोलॉजी and you uh, start thinking about how in future this technology is going to play out and i think uh, because you make use of rubber and uh, if there is a design whereby you can make pistols so will it cause some sort of a security threat for us down the line uh well first of all any technology that has that has evolved with time it has some uh, Uh, advantages as well as disadvantages right so so uh, i mean it just depend on the mindset of the person who is using it i mean if a person has a bad intention he will anyways carry out a crime irrespective of he has a 3d printer or not <laughs> so 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 i would say like let's not blame technology for that yes it can be used and government definitely need some uh, some strict regulations for that uh, i i recently came across uh, one report which states that I think Pennsylvania has already uh, banned uh, 3D printing of plastic uh, arms. So I think these kind of rules are required. And second thing is we we make at at domestic level we make use of plastic. So uh, I can I mean yeah it can be dangerous but it cannot be as dangerous as actual revolvers or pistols. <laughs> If anything is uh, uh, capable of hurting someone, uh, then it is fit. fiddle <laughs> so whether it is yeah. plastic or uh, it is iron it is a material as far as your safety yeah so 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 as i said like if a person wants to kill someone or hit someone he will do it anyways he will use a knife he will use a stone he he can use anything so he definitely don't want to spend so much money on 3d printer to have some kind of harm <laughs> <laughs> so that is another way of looking at the bright side of technology and i think every scientist has to uh, pay attention to that and there is one common thing between you and teju and let's look at that uh, briefly you guys look at the problem you define it and then you try to seek the solution so first teju how is this process so what is it that you would say it takes for someone to be inventor or scientist um Well, <laughs> that's a kind of a broad question, but uh, I guess I'll do my best. Um I think I think for me uh in particular the app space, I think the the biggest challenge was trying to find a way to be as inviting um and make something that's intuitive and uh how do I say it? It's uh I guess sticky is the best best word that I could think of in the sense that if someone uses it once, well what makes them want to use that again? Um So the, it, in order to to kind of solve that problem um it's more than just kind of a um 
cerebral problem. It's an emotional problem in the sense that they have to feel good when they use it. So uh, incorporating design into um, the, the function was, was for me the, one of the biggest challenges. Wonderful. Um, so I bring it back to you, Aniket. Now just add another spicy side because it is very easy for people to uh, decide to give up when they don't uh, find the solutions right away. So mm -hmm. do you have something in the scientist fraternity or maybe your colleagues or uh, people who have you, uh, who have worked with you that the will to seek solutions is stronger than a normal person, is it? Yeah, I think uh, uh, more, than, uh, more than the willingness to solve an issue, uh, what makes a scientist is, I believe, his better understanding. So if someone is not working uh, or something is not working, so he should be able to understand, so why, why is it not working? What exactly is happening? I think that kind of uh, inquisitive mind uh, makes a scientist. And when we go from science towards economics, or let's say we look at both of them together, so looking at 3D printers, what do you foresee in terms of the potential market for this new product? Well, the market is already enormous. Uh, for example, I know about the desktop 3D printers, which is uh, kind of $2 billion industry right now worldwide, and, uh, and it is growing at, I mean, Within uh, within next five years, it, it will it will be like three or four times the market is growing. So this is only about the desktop consumer printers. Uh, there are other printers that are not commonly used at home, which are uh, mainly uh, manufactured for big industries. So that's completely another ball game. Absolutely. So now, uh, as far as your uh work with uh, the industry that is uh, operating in the 3D printers field. As a freelancer, what have you observed? What are their main concerns? So, uh, yeah, uh, the problem that we were facing with our 3D printer, when we looked online and uh, checked the forums, we came to know that almost everyone who works with this kind of printer is facing this problem. So I was sure that, okay, so if we have a solution, there is a market. So this was definitely a, a first thing that came to our mind. Second thing was, well, since I have knowledge of polymers and coatings, and I know how this thing operates, I can definitely contribute to it. And the third thing was, uh, if I'm able to do it, then uh, it will really load down the cost of 3D printers. And uh, this was my vision, like, if the way we have laptops or desktops, we should have 3D printers at home also. And why we should have it? Because right now, uh, let's say, for example, uh, we take an example of toys. So uh, a, toy, a toy maker makes toys through something known as injection molding. I'm talking about plastics. Right. So he, he uses a process known as injection molding, and he does a, does a mass production. Now, in mass production, the, the thing may sell, the thing may not sell, it may require a lot of labor. It may lead to wastage of a lot of material. But in this case, now, it is instantaneous. So whenever there is an order, just design on computer and print it. So it will reduce the, the immediate need of uh, heavy processes like injection molding or extrusion. Absolutely. So it will lead to uh, uh, savings of material, time, and money. I guess all of them are synonyms. But yeah, it will, it will definitely improve the condition. So thank you, Aniket. And I just try to imagine a world where if you want one particular kind of a statue, then you go uh, at your home, maybe in basement, you have a 3D printer, and you can print, uh, let's say, if we are celebrating Mahatma Gandhi Jayanti, and you want a uh, kind of a bust of Mahatma Gandhi, then this 3D printer would let you make that. Uh, really, so I, I, I actually printed Mahatma Gandhi's statue. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really surprised at the coincidence. So, why did you do that? Uh, well, uh, I was just going through designs, and on a website, I found Mahatma Gandhi's design. Wow. Like, okay, I'll print it. Being Indian, I was like, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> so, Mahatma Gandhi is everywhere with us, uh, telling us uh, to stay... Uh, with peace and he also has helped the whole world in realizing 
the importance of non-violence. Um, the technology of Mahatma Gandhi was probably referred to as the technology of Satyagraha. But if he was to uh, be uh, in the world today, uh, with all this social media around us, uh, Teju, what do you think how social media might have helped Mahatma Gandhi? Um, I I don't know. It's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> I uh, I mean I'm. It's funny. I I'm actually when you when you mention that I think back to um, uh, one of Apple. You know when they were still Apple Computer, they had a campaign called Think Different, and they used his image uh, as one of the people who thought differently. Um, and I thought that was kind of ironic because I, from my understanding, he um, he wasn't necessarily a, a, a big on you know kind of whatever the technology was. So um, no, that's an interesting question as to you know what what would Mahatma Gandhi's Twitter be like? <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh, try uh, your uh, imagination on that, Aniket, quickly? <laughs> I think he would be able to you know check in at uh, check in at each and every satyagraha. Like uh, today we are having satyagraha here. It was fun, <laughs> and uh, he he might create events like all those who wants to join. He can create an event on Facebook. <laughs> They're having this much. Uh, actually, Arun Kejriwal is doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mahatma Gandhi's uh, Facebook page would have millions of likes uh, every day with his postings. There'll be many people commenting on that. And I don't know what way uh, the world would have changed in the presence of Mahatma Gandhi and social media together. Probably the process would have been faster or uh, slower. We don't know. But what we know is technology is definitely playing an important role, and those whom we consider as big, big icons, they are also tech-savvy. Uh, talking about Rajni Kant, we uh, all look up to him as super, superhero, and indeed his creative uh, potential uh, needs no uh, questioning. But I think he has been very effective in making use of technology in uh, presenting uh, his stories uh, for the viewers. What would you say, uh, Aniket? Uh, well, I, I, yeah, the Rajni Khan has definitely made use of technology. But so has Shah Rukh Khan recently <laughs> in Ravan. Yeah, I uh, well, as you say about technology, the way I see uh, how technology is, I think it is just evolving. I mean, Every civilization has enjoyed the modern technology. It is just as we progress time, that technology becomes old. For example, when when actual two-dimensional printer was invented, people were like more, much more happy than how we are today with iPads and 3D <laughs> printers. <laughs> right, right. So it, it was something fascinating for them. These things are for us. We never know what will be there in future. That is true. So, technology के साथ आपका संबंध कैसा बनता है, उसको लेते हुए आपका जीवन या तो हो सकता है hit या हो सकता है flop. So, you have to know where to stop. And now is the time for us to stop uh, for today. Uh, but do join us tomorrow. And uh, I also want to thank Teju Prasad for sharing all about this app. And also uh, the gentleman on phone uh, telling us all about 3D printers. And if we ask, thank you very much for joining us. And so uh, the most important thanks is for all of you for making this happen. And uh, do join the conversation tomorrow at 7.30. This is Ashok Vyas.